This is a barrel spring from a vintage clock. It's an Enfield. First thing we do before removing the spring is to take the back plate off. I have a specially modified screwdriver here that makes it easy to flip it off. Just put that aside. Okay, now we'll go to the winder and we'll remove the spring from the barrel. This thing we'll do is find a sleeve that goes very close to the size of the barrel. That one there would be about it, I would say. First thing we do, the sleeve onto the spring winder. Then set the winding arbor into the chuck and tighten it down. Then we need a, a glove to hold the barrel with. First turn the barrel and find where the pin is that holds the spring into the barrel so that you know where you're going to slide the sleeve on. When the spring is wound Move the sleeve up and slide the slot there, either side of the pin. Then twist it clockwise so that there's sufficient amount of spring hanging out from the sleeve. Then unwind. then remove and twist out barrel spring with some lip out here so that we can catch it and put it back in now put the winding arbor Back into the winder. Put the sleeve and spring onto the winder. Now wind the spring up tightly until you can slip the sleeve off. Then change the direction of the winder and slowly. Remove the spring and the winding arbor from the winder and remove the winding arbor. Now I'll put the spring back onto a winding arbor. Take some kerosene. And pour a little bit onto a scouring pad. Double the scouring pad over the spring and slowly rub the spring backwards and forwards to remove the dirt and the dust and the grime, the built up oil.
and then run back again. Now, taking a piece of clean cloth, remove the caro from the spring. And then using another clean bit of cloth, to remove the rest, stripe down the spring again. Spring to set for three or four minutes so that any remaining kerosene will evaporate from the spring. Give the spring another wipe down with another piece of cloth just to make sure that it is totally dry. Now we're going to lube the spring. We use PTFE silicon grease. Do not use WD-40. It is not a lubricant. It will go hard and stop your clock from working. Pull the spring as far as you can and hold it with one hand You're getting some lube with the other hand put it on your thumb and forefinger and then draw it back along the length of the spring. You may need to do this three or four times to get the spring properly lubricated. Having drawn the lube right to the end of the spring, return to the top and run it down again. That evens out the lube on the spring. Having finished with the spring, checked it to make sure there's no cracks or bends or breaks. Put it in the bag to keep it clean. <laughs> 